I know by now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, this thing will never come to an end. Actually, it will. I'm going to read you another set of comments and a personal message that was left to me, and then I will end this video series. We'll go back to doing educational videos, so on and so forth, and hopefully this will never happen again. All right. Now, here comes Crazy Bad Puzzles, which it turns out that this is Crazy Bad Magician responding to me once again. When I found this out, I was like, you know what? I've had enough. I'm going to block this guy. It's over. Okay. All he's trying to do is discredit me, and I'm not going to put up with it. But anyway, let's read what Crazy Bad Magician actually wrote. It says, sorry, you seem crazy. I can't say you actually are, as I don't know you personally. Well, if you were watching enough of my videos, which you proclaim you do, then you have a pretty good idea that I'm not crazy. I just have a lot to say, and I say it all at once because I'm a speed reader and a memory expert, and I tend to dump a lot of stuff all at the same time. Your channel entertains me for the reasons that even this video demonstrates. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to educate you, and that's exactly what I've done, whether you want to believe it or not. You make videos about topics and then rant off in another direction like a crazy person. No. I am being comprehensive. Okay? The first thing I did in part one of this series was I established you do not have enough credentials to try to discredit me. Either you don't know how to operate a smartphone or you just are a bad speller. Either way, you don't have enough credentials to discredit me. And you have not, not enough credentials to stand there and call me a cyber bully. You probably don't even know what that is. So that was my first attack was to say, either you don't know how to operate a smartphone or you're a bad speller. Either way, you've lost your credentials right off the bat in trying to discredit me. You want to make a better presentation? You make a better presentation. Okay. This was a response to my comments to you. Oh, it was. You just didn't pay very close attention. And you started talking about something I wasn't talking about at all. That's because, like I said, I was trying to discredit you. And I got the job done. Either proofread what you write on your smartphone, or quit spelling so bad before you challenge me. You're dropping an honor challenge, and I'm throwing it right back at you. Okay. Sorry, this is a terrible response. No, it was a pretty accurate response. The thing is, you only watched the first few seconds, and you'd assumed it was a terrible response. If you'd watched the whole thing, you would understand that I gave you a comprehensive answer to your honor challenge. But you didn't do that, so there you go. But highly entertaining, and thanks. Okay, and then he goes on, and he says, I have a hard time believing that you remember all the details from Disturbed Reality's video. I remember 80% of the details. Why? Because I'm a speed reader and a memory expert, which apparently you are neither one. So again, that discredits you. And then you stand there and say, well, don't, don't call me one of your students. You need a teacher. You need one very badly. And if it's not for me, you can go find somebody else. I'm through with you. Goodbye. Happy unemployment. The end. All right. Now enough about crazy bad magician. He has to resort to deceit in order to try to discredit me. He should be ashamed of that. But he's not, unfortunately. And so therefore, we're just going to go through. This is a personal message left by Flower Child. Okay. This is a far more appropriate response. And it's going to receive a lot more dignity from me than what Crazy Bad Magician just did. Alright, so, first of all, an apology to Flower Child. I did not realize when you made your username that you were using the same technique that Chef Boyardee did when he put his name on the pasta sauces and the, and the pasta and the whole nine yards. That was very clever, and I apologize. So, I won't even read this first paragraph because it's unnecessary. I was in the wrong. I apologize. You deserve my deepest respect. Alright, next part. 
This person, this flower child, in my responses to Jeff Bliss, has now stated her credentials. Now, how do you, how do I come up with the idea that this is a she? How many guys would come up with the username of flower child? Really? They'd have to be a big time hippie or there's got to be something wrong for a guy to come up with flower child. But it, I suppose it's possible, but I, I seriously doubt it. This has got to be some kind of a gal. This has got to be some kind of a lady. It, it, it's, that's the only conclusion I can come up with. Okay? So, on the presumption that this is a lady, and I would hope it would be a lady, uh, she states her chess credentials. She says, I have over 20 chess trophies. Okay, if you have 20 chess trophies, why not put them in a nice glass case and videotape them and show them to everybody so that we can all admire them? That's something to be admired. This is a nice credential. I'm thrilled that you got them. It would make a great conversation piece. I'd love to hear more stories about this. I really would. So, there you go. I was featured in multiple newspapers and I won multiple Oregon State Championships. That is a lot of credentials. You know what that tells me? It tells me you're highly analytical. That means mathematics must come real easy to you. That's fantastic. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear it. Somebody with some brains. I'm, t I'm telling you, this. Th I'm impressed. Right now, I am totally impressed with you. My chess coach had me teach his chess classes many times, and I went to U.S. Nationals. Oh, how I'd love to hear about your experiences with the U.S. Nationals. I'd love to know more about your chess teacher. That ch chess teacher must really think highly of you in order to allow you to teach his class or her class. I'm not really sure because you never really specified the gender of your chess teacher. But either way, your chess teacher is very impressed with you. And that's quite a compliment. So yes, I'm impressed. This was all when I was still in my early teens. You know what this tells me? This tells me you're probably over the age of 18. Most likely you're over the age of 21. That's a great way to get a hypothesis here. You're probably at least 18, probably more like 21, maybe even older than that. I don't know. But I'm sure you'll specify later on. So th this, is, this is an adult I'm talking to, not some punk kid. And that's impressive in itself. And a smart kid. This, this is a smart human being. This is a very smart adult. So, yes, I'm very impressed. Swimming credentials. I swim constantly and I've taken swimming classes. Okay, well, a lot of people have. However, I practice swimming by doing laps across the Willamette River. And you've never videotaped yourself going across the Willamette River. You say, well, I can't take the camera into water. I understand that. So you bring a friend along and he or she videotapes you swimming across the Willamette River. You can even talk about the Willamette River. You can tell people about the Willamette River, how cold it gets, how warm it gets, how big it is, so on and so forth. This would be interesting stuff to tell people on YouTube. I can swim much faster than anyone I know. Well, I hope you can. Uh, I don't know, you'd have to kind of have a stopwatch and, and show that uh, uh, your time in swimming is one thing and theirs is something else. And I'm sure if you have some trophies or something, that would be, that would be just as good a proof. So, uh, unless I get further information, I'm going to just go on the basis of what, what you say. Uh, I can actually say that right now, from what you've just told me, you're pretty athletic. Okay, You're probably in good, healthy shape, which is great. Wonderful. Now, I, I, of course, have never seen any pictures or videos of you, so I really can't tell how good a shape you're in. But just by those statements, I can say, well, this is probably a pretty healthy human being. Okay. And can swim at full speed for about 20 minutes, which I don't know what full speed would be. You might want to specify that, but it would be interesting to find out. I can swim at a reduced speed for hours. Well, how many hours? We'd all love to know this. This, this, this is fantastic information. I'd love to know. Okay, access.
acting credentials. I've been in seven plays in my area, taken dozens of theater classes, both in high school and college. You know what that tells me? You're a high school graduate, you've been to college, you may have a degree by now. I don't know. We'll find out. I've been praised by all my acting teachers and directors. Well, how many are there? What are their credentials? I'd love to know. I want an honorary membership in the International Thespian Society, like any of us even knows what a Thespian Society is. Maybe you can elaborate. I'd love to hear your elaboration. When I was still in high school, okay, now you've had high school education and college, and yet you still don't separate the words high and school. Okay, uh, high and school doesn't bunch up together like that. Uh, if you don't believe me, you can check this out for yourself. You can do the research for yourself. But yes, it is high space school. Uh, this could be, like I said in my first part, it could be because of your smartphone. It could be because you may not realize that high and school are two different words and need to be separated. I don't know. We will find out. Okay. I made a general audition for theater college and finally, five highly esteemed theater colleges asked me to join them with scholarships. I'm impressed. And these include the New York Conservatory of Dramatic Arts. Like any of us know who this is. We'd love to know, though. The Cornish College of the Arts. Again, another one we don't, we've never heard of. The American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Of course, I've never been in theater, so I probably don't know any of this stuff. I know probably there's a lot of people who do. This would be something you should make videos about and tell people about. I'm sure people would love to hear this kind of stuff. I guarantee it. It'd certainly be far more informative than what Jeff Bliss did in his video. Okay. Theater of Arts and the University of North Colorado. Like anybody has ever seen the University of North Colorado. Even I've never seen that. Show us this. I'd love to hear this stuff. Be a lot better than Jeff Bliss. There was a sixth one, but it was years ago, and I can't remember the name of it. I made it to callbacks for the Pacific Conservatory of Performing Arts. Here's another one. Talk about it. Let us know. Take it one video at a time. Tell us these kind of things. This is interesting stuff. I would spend hours watching stuff like this. Really, I would. Better than Jeff Bliss, I can tell you that. But they only accept 30 to 35 students a year, and I didn't make the final cut. I'm so sorry about that. You probably should have. I mean, you're in great shape. You're a very smart human being. This has been well presented so far, except for the high in the school, but that's an easily correctable mistake. So, um, it, this, is, this is downright impressive. I am very impressed with you right now. You've got my undivided attention, and I'm going to treat you a lot differently than I treated all the other ones in the previous parts of this video. Okay? I acted the lead role in a 10-minute promotional video for the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. And you never posted this on your YouTube channel? Oh, I'm sorry you didn't. You should have. These are the kind of credentials that tell me that I'm going to be talking to an intelligent human being who will make a good presentation. And this is a very good presentation. My high praises to you. This was one of the best letters I've ever received. A little flawed, granted, but it's very well presented. This is the kind of this is the kind of person I like working with. This is pure academia at its best. I hope my YouTube audience is now seeing the difference between somebody like Boring TV Channel or Crazy Bad Magician and this. This is impressive. And I'm going to treat this person a lot differently than I treated the rest of those idiots. You see the comparison now? Now I know you're not seeing me in this video and I'm sorry for that, but I wanted you to actually see this letter as I continue to read it. And I'm going to go ahead and put the camera right here. Because this is one of the most impressive things I've ever seen, and I wanted you guys to see it too. This, this is impressive. Bravo. Bravo. Okay. Now, before I go into the meat and potatoes of this thing, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video for now. And 
again, congratulations. You really have stunned me. I, I'm, I'm more than impressed by what you've done, at least so far. And I will go into the rest of it in just a little bit. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.